am Callie Lewis. You're watching Geek Brief TV on Podshow.com. When you read a list of the top 10 geek movies on the internet, the list is almost always mostly populated with sci-fi titles. That's not how I'd make my list. Instead of a list of films geeks like, my top 10 is a list of films about geeks. I like movies where the geek gets the girl. Number 10 on my list is a movie where geeks make the girl by hacking into a government mainframe. In Weird Science, Gary and Wyatt only intend to create a computer simulation, but a freak electrical storm somehow makes the simulated girl come to life. The Franken girl Lisa is smart, cool, and magic. Weird Science is a little over the top, but the scene where Gary Wyatt and Lisa go to an urban blues club is pants wedding funny. Number nine on my list is Ghost World. It's about an art geek named Enid and her best friend Rebecca, and it's based on a graphic novel. Enid is one of my favorite girl geek characters because she's strong, smart, and she's nice to people most other people ignore. At number eight on my list is my favorite kid geek movie, The Goonies. The Goonies are a bunch of outsider kids on the verge of losing their homes to greedy developers. They find a treasure map and go on an adventure to save the neighborhood. In search of one-eyed Willie's pirate treasure, the kids encounter a family of criminals who have their own ideas about finding the treasure. This is one of the movies Neil and I watch at least once a year. Number seven is Office Space. This is one of the non-science fiction flicks included on other top 10 geek lists because it's about a trio of underpaid, underappreciated IT workers. I've never seen a better depiction of the tyranny of the day job. It was set in Dallas, so I have to give it points for that too. Real Genius is number six on my list. It's about Chris Knight, a genius working on a chemical laser. This was one of the first movies where geek became chic because Chris Knight was brilliant at the same time he was the coolest guy in the room. It's a fun, light movie and worth checking out just to see a house destroyed by popcorn. You can potentially disagree with my picks 10 through 6, but I don't think you can dispute War Games number 5. It's a must-see movie for every geek. I was two years old when War Games came out, so for me it's awesome to see how far technology has advanced in my lifetime. It's also interesting that at $1 million, the NORAD set in the movie was the most expensive single movie set ever built back then. Sneakers is my pick for number 4. I saw it when I was young, and because my sister had a crush on Robert Redford, we watched it over and over and over again. It never got old though. Sneakers came out about the time I started to get interested in computers. I saw Sneakers before any of the other movies on my list and it's one of the foundations of my interest in technology. At number three, a movie called Antitrust in the US and Conspiracy.com everywhere else is filled with iconic geek imagery. Everything from a garage startup to an amazing billionaire mansion. The billionaire, Gary Winston, CEO of a software company called Nerve, would do anything to gain access to just the right code even have someone from a startup murdered. Antitrust gets a lot of tech culture right. Not the evil stuff, the average stuff. That's what I really liked about it. If you haven't seen my number two choice, Primer, rent it. It was produced for $7,000 and it's one of the most intriguing movies I've ever seen. The filmmaker, Sean Carruth, who wrote, directed, and produced the movie, studied physics while he wrote the screenplay and he doesn't simplify the story. It's rare you see a movie that works without following a predictable formula. Primer does. Just like Office Space, it was shot in Dallas. Hmm, must be something in the salsa. Pirates of Silicon Valley is my number one geek movie of all time because it's the story of the rivalry between Apple and Microsoft. Anthony Michael Hall was amazing as Bill Gates and Noah Wiley was amazing as Steve Jobs. The film covers the historical story of the development of the personal computer and the operating systems that made PCs feasible. The filmmaker chose to make Pirates as an unauthorized piece with the intentional decision not to interview Bill Gates or Steve Jobs. Instead, he worked with a team of Harvard researchers over seven months to get the facts right. Every scene is verified by at least two sources. What's really interesting about Pirates is that it informs the way I look at Apple and Microsoft every day. The story feels the same as any new story about Apple and Microsoft feels. This is one you should see above all others. I'm Callie Lewis. This episode was produced for Podshow Downtime. If it's your first time to watch, you can get unlimited refills at geekbrief.tv. Thanks for watching. Another Podshow video podcast. Stick it on your screen.